Hey everybody, Kyron here, and welcome back to another episode of Fortress Craft. So where we left off last time, we did uh, locate all of the different ores that we would need. And I spent uh, I spent a little time off camera, just kind of collecting ores, going back and forth, recharging the, uh, um, what are they called, the... Uh, uh, ore extractors. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> And this is what we have. So um, I didn't want to do anything off uh, off camera that was uh, kind of too exciting. So really, all I did was collect the ores and get them in place. So I haven't done any upgrades. Um, I, I haven't really done any kind of changes. Didn't do any research, anything like that. Um, I did do a little bit of scouting just to kind of take a look where our uh, um, machine here. Our CPH is in relation to our ores and things like that. Um, so, that's about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of planning. We're going to do a little bit of crafting today. And see how far we can get. Alright, so, uh, from our hole here, uh, if we just want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 spaces between our hole and our machine here. All right. Sorry about that, I had to turn off the music real quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So right here, should be the edge of our machine. Let's kind of dig in a little bit here. Um, so this should actually work out pretty nicely. If we take a look at our vein, our vein ends right here, and then right here is where our, um, our machine is. So I think we're uh, I think we're actually going to be pretty good as far as that goes. head back up to the top here and what we want to start working on is this right here so the laser energy transmitter uh, I'm gonna go ahead and craft one of these up now we have 10 spaces that we can work with here um, our copper vein is right around here and then it ends pretty much uh, directly out from this hole so this spot right here <laughs> where our uh, smelter is. So what I'm going to do is right next to that is where I'm going to put down our laser energy transmitter. Um, so it's already pointing down which is good. And I'm just gonna... Oh that's not good. <laughs> uh, that doesn't really work. Hmm. How big is this? So we uh, have an unfortunate situation here where looks like there's a, kind of a copper or a, a coal vein here. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's see what we can do regardless. So I'm just gonna go straight down from where our laser transmitter is and see where we land. Oops. And here we are. Alright. So what is this? Rough hewn. So if we take our rough hewn, oops, and there we go. So this is exactly where it goes. So that means that our central power hub is right here. All right, and then, hmm, actually we could probably do it right here. Yep, I think that'll work out. So let's do that. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So right where we have... Let's uh, just get this all kind of filled in here. 
So right where we have this guy, what we should be able to do is get our thingy. These are impacted wall. All right. Have it pointed down. And if we tunnel back down, let's make sure I'm not going too far. I forgot to look at my height. <laughs> My yeah, I think I might be off of my calculations here. Just one minute. Oops. All right, so it should be coming down at thirty five. Oh, we did, uh, we did reach it, I just missed it. Let's see, rough hewn. There we go. Okay, we are a lot closer to the surface than I thought, I guess. Alright, so... Here we go. I'm gonna go back up to the... Oops, actually we don't need to, I have what we need. Right here. Boom. And there we go. So now this bad boy is getting charged up from the surface, so we don't need to go back to the surface to get uh, more energy. What that also means is we can take this right here and our hopper. And put it right there. Look at it. So now that thing is generating power all on its own without us having to put anything into it just because we have this laser power transmitter coming down, charging this battery. This battery, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, this battery is charging the drill, the orc tracker, and then this should pretty much uh, work indefinitely. So the next thing that we need to do is get um, all of this up to the surface, or we can put a hopper there. So let's see what we can do about making a hopper. Um, I don't think we actually have one, right? So we have this, so the logistics hopper, but what we really need is a storage hopper. The storage hopper is 12 tin and 10 iron bars. So we're gonna go ahead and craft one of those. Actually, we do have this one we could use as well. So let's uh, commandeer this. And all we really need to do is put it on top there. And there we go. So now everything from here, these four ores, and there it is. So now uh, everything's getting dumped into here. This should last quite a while. It, they don't drill out ore that quickly. Um, so we can just kind of come by every once in a while and grab up uh, 100 ore whenever we need it. All right, and then I want to do the same thing down here to our iron. Because iron is going to be a very valuable resource for us. And that's kind of our big bottleneck with these right now, is they just fill up way too quickly. All right, so we'll get it powered up, and should be good to go there. So that pretty much takes care of resources. Uh, we're going to have to do the same thing, obviously, to the um, other ones. So the lithium and the tin will also need kind of the same setup. But we need to do a little bit more digging to get down to those and get uh, those supplied with energy. So what I want to do now is we'll reclaim some of this. We don't, uh, we don't really need it at the moment. I don't have a, a pressing need for large amounts of copper being delivered to the surface when I can just kind of hop down and 
get more. Alright. Just gonna grab all of this up. And this was the rough hewn. And it did take a little time to reorganize my um, tabs here. So we have kind of all of our machines, we have our ores, we have our bars, and then just uh, some building materials. So a little bit easier to find what you need instead of having to kind of scroll through just endless amounts of tabs <laughs> to find like one particular stone needed to, uh, to fill in a hole or something. All right, so we are looking pretty good. Let's, uh, let's see, storage hopper, let's go ahead and just get both of these um, upgraded to a better hopper. Uh, we are definitely going to need tons and tons and tons of resources coming up. So, let's wait for that to kick in. Make sure it's working for us, and there it goes. All right, <clears throat> so we'll collect that up, and we have one more. We have to go down and get the lithium. Um, but one thing that I want to do too is kind of uh, redo my holes here. <laughs> so it's uh, not not very efficient, kind of going down the hole. So every time I go down, I actually want to kind of dig another hole for us. And then eventually I just want to turn this into a kind of a gigantic mine shaft. And there we go. So we're uh, turning our small little not so fancy hole into a nice mine shaft, which is good. Let's see how we're doing over here. So we still got full power and we got uh, 36 ores already generated. So that would have filled up in the time that it took us to kind of go there and back. But uh, because we had the hopper there, we are good to go. All right. Just need to get my lithium powered up here. And I'm not sure if we want to make one of those generators and actually put it down here because potentially instead of running power all the way down here, we could make a generator that runs off this coal vein. This coal vein is pretty huge. It's 400,000. So we could just put a generator there and then get the power over here. But so I'm not too sure about that. I, it, it says that the generator, um, I don't know if we can actually see it from here. No, we can't. It says the generator, generator doesn't uh, have very good efficiency when it's down this far because of ventilation reasons. So I'm not sure if that means it just doesn't work or if it works at 10% or 90% or I don't know what's going on with that. But for now, we can just come keep uh, filling it with power. It's, it, it's not very power intensive. Um, plus, this lithium vein is not a lag big, is it? Yeah, it's 96,000, so putting in a lot of infrastructure for such a small vein is uh, not really going to be worth it. Alright, so the other thing that I noticed when I was down here, if we do a ping unknown, we've got some ores that are kind of in the general area of down here that are unknown. So let's let's go ahead and tunnel over to these and just see what they are. All right, so we can't tunnel through this. What are you? You're a coal vein. That might actually work out too. So if those generators do work this far down, even if they're inefficient, we could use this coal vein to power our iron. So that, that would save us quite a bit of resources. We'll, uh, we'll have to give that a try. Nice thing about uh, this game is when you make a machine like that, like that generator, even if it doesn't work out, you can just always pick it up and, and move it. You're not kind of committed to a design. It's really a sandbox world, so you can do whatever you want. And we're out of 
power. Alright, we'll uh, warm up a little bit. Get rid of our hypothermia so we can see what we're doing. So that's one of the things that we can avoid too, if we have a, an actual mine shaft, is we don't have to get perfectly lined up with the hole. Alright, and I'm actually going to steal power from here, <laughs> just because I can. Can almost fill us up, these hold 200 and our suit holds 256. And uh, they don't transmit power that quickly, but they do it quickly enough, so we won't have to worry about it. Alright. A little bit of lag there. And we were down here. Alright. Yes. Use our lamp. And yeah, we don't want to use our power, I guess. It doesn't do all that much for us. Now this one's going to be unknown, so hopefully this is another ore that we can start working on. Alright, torch in here so we can see what we're doing. Is this it? Scanning unknown block. This does not look like an ore. <laughs> Uh, we'll see what it is. It's it might be it might be the resource that we've been looking for. Oh no, these guys. So these guys, I've run into one of these before, and I got wrecked in the face. He one shot me. They're a camouflage block or a mimic block or something like that. It's a little creature that mimics the style of block that's around it. Um, uh, from what I've seen, they're friendly unless you injure them. And then once you injure them, they are strong enough to really just one-shot you. <laughs> Which is not good. Alright. Hey, should probably start planning out where we want to go here. Um... I think we want to put our mine shaft on this side. So we'll kind of mark it out here. Get my snow back in place. There we go. All right. Unknown material. We have sand. Alright, so take a look at our ore smelter. No, still unknown material. So, still looking for what that is. And what are you? Rough hewn. Let's get that filled in so it looks real nice. Alright, so let's head back in the hole and see if we can find some more. Alright. Head all the way back down to our new mine and break my legs. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that was bound to happen. Working in an unsafe mine, and uh, look what happens. No big deal. Like I said, we uh, we have uh, our deaths as the uh, where we just respawn. We still have all of our materials, so it doesn't really affect us if we do die. But uh, let's uh, let's not try that again. 
slow ourselves down a little bit. There we go. Alright. Man, we are out of power already? I think I need to invest in some suit upgrades here. I don't even have enough power to scan, so we definitely need some um, some heat sources down here and some suit upgrades. All right, get warmed up. Actually, we can. Actually, uh, take our ore while we're at it. There's my corpse. <laughs> All right, take you. Yep, we're out of power, that's why. <laughs> that's exactly the reason that we're going back to the surface. Yeah, it gives me a good indicator of where my hole is, though. <laughs> I always look for the bright side in the situation. do suit upgrades. Um, so we can do a suit power pack. Do solar cell. We don't spend a lot of time outside though, so... Um, hmm. Interesting. Let's see what else. Is that really all we get? Is just... Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do the suit power pack. And then, uh, what else can we get here? So, improved ore scanning. We might as well do that, because that's kind of what our main mission is right now. Um, pack box data we might as well get. And then, quest laboratory. Upgrade power grid would probably be nice. All right, so we actually do have enough already. Um, four copper, 12 tin, 16 iron, and 24 lithium. That is pricey, <laughs> but uh, it doubles our suit power, which is good. Hmm. All right, good deal. Let's, uh, let's get this filled in too, just so I don't keep having to run around it. There we go. And what do we have here? We'll uh, work on some more copper. All right, so we have 45 research points left. We should probably do advanced research at some point. Um, we're gonna want these upgrades. And local life forms. Plant is not dead. Scanners are detecting both plant and animal. I don't think we really need that quite yet. Alright. So, we have uh, some of the lab components here. It needs to be built in a 3x3. Three three. Low level. Hmm. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what all those do, but I'm sure we'll figure that out in time. We definitely need some more resources first, and that's, that's going to be our main priority. Just getting resources set up. Alright, so let's, uh, let's head over to our tin. Get that emptied out. Ooh, almost out of power. And we can fill the entire extractor with our suit power, which is awesome. Our, our 
spider friend is checking us out. Ooh. Completely drained it of all of its power. Oh, because we did, uh, <laughs> we went a little ham on the uh, research here, so it's, it's filling that up. That would be why. All right, what do we what do we need to do for one of these? Yeah, it's cheap enough, and we have tons of resources. So let's uh, let's put one of those down right there. What that should do is there it goes. So this should hopefully start generating power. And it should. I don't know. Um, does anybody know if the pyrothermic generator actually powers this? Like, does it add power to the hub or no? So I'm thinking that it probably has to fill first. and then utilization is 100%. So I'm, I'm guessing it has to fill first and then I'm hoping that it will actually fill our hub. But I'm not sure exactly. That's filled up, and then I'm guessing it has to fill this up. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll, uh, we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. Okay. So it's filling that up now. Let's see what our utilization looks like. When, uh, when it does get filled. All right. So let's, uh, let's make another one of these and we'll continue bringing energy down. Let's see, current power, power a thousand. Hundred percent utilization. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll wait for the hub to get filled up. Actually, what I can do, I'll destroy this temporarily, and then we'll see. This block should not fill this entire thing here. So we'll uh, we'll come back in just a second, and we'll see if it continues to fill up. So, like I said, I don't like to look things up. I like to learn on my own. So I'd rather experiment and uh, just kind of take a look and see what happens. Let's see, oops, rough. ah, come on, stupid lamps are in the way. <laughs> All right, so our mine shaft is looking pretty good. We're getting there. We're about two thirds of the way there. Alright, and we need to come over here and start working on getting power a little bit lower. So the thing about these is they can transmit in up to 24, uh, up to 64 blocks. So transmit power at a low rate from a generator or a battery up to 64 meters. Um, so if we go up here, we're at 36. So we should be able to go exactly down to a hundred. That'll actually look, work out pretty good. All right, so where is it? There we go. It's pointing straight down. Oops, low storage. We are getting filled up here.
Now we're rolling in resources. Holy cow, that was a lot faster than what I was doing before. Alright, so we'll uh, continue down. We should be able to go exactly to 100. And then we'll be able to put another battery. Alright, so here's 100. We'll uh, put a torch so we can stay warmed up. And then we can use the K button and we can find where all of our stuff is. Okay, so we have a ways to go yet before we get to our lithium and our iron, unfortunately. So we'll need probably one more generator, or one more uh, power transmitter. Heading on over here, we'll do another laser transmitter. We'll refill that. Alright, so this should be... Hmm. I can't tell... I think everything should be filled. So if we stop putting energy into this. Yeah, it doesn't look like it works that way. All right. I'll scrap that idea. <laughs> so... Uh, let's put our copper back in here before it cools off too much. Yep, so it looks like uh, you can't charge your central power hub. Um, we would need to figure out another way of doing that. Um, that's actually a an idea we could have. So I think what I might do next episode is we have this copper vein that kind of comes over here. So what I might do is put uh, put the drill underneath here. Actually, let's do that right now. Might as well. So if we excavate this a little bit, we should expose that right there. So if we put you there. And then we do a uh, how do we want to do that? So we want to have batteries. Yep, that should work. So we'll take this. We'll do a storage hopper. We'll do a logistics hopper. Pull those down. Put one of those there. Add power. So that should mine coal go into the hopper. It'll feed this hopper, which will feed our So I think we can do this a little differently. 
If we put this on top, and then we put the hopper, and then we do the generator, and then we do Hmm. Do we want to do those? Two, four, we can make ten of those from the tin that we have. So let's get working on some tin. Let's do eight of those, two of those. Now we're getting somewhere. So if we put that, we'll do there. So if we go boom and boom. Now what should happen is the hub and our generator here should be powering these storage units. And then both this generator and the hub can both be powering our laser transmitter. I think that'll work out. And then we can take this and move it here. So the hub will power this and then that will power the drill. So then we never really have to worry about that drill either. All right. That's why I love these games. There's always a solution. <laughs> cool. And our uh, area's looking kind of neat as well. All right, so that we're working on that. Now we need to, actually we should probably go check this. Eh, how do you on power? Oh, I forgot to get power. I'm a derp. All this power generation and I don't actually go get it. back up again and we're at about 40 minutes right now so I don't want to go too long this game is just so interesting I have a hard time stopping <laughs> so all right so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and clear out oh did we actually make another we did all right let's see We'll empty that one out. And where are we down here? Let's see. So we're at 122-ish. 124. I'll give this one, this one half power, just because we can't really spare all of it. Resources. Oh yeah, resources are looking good now. Uh, I missed my hole. <laughs> All 
So, yeah, we're uh, we're definitely on the resource game now. So those uh, those hoppers made things just so much easier. And like I said, I didn't want to do any kind of crafting or anything off camera, so I had to kind of suffer through just making every um, all those trips manually and collecting it every time we got to uh, 28. But now we can go at 128. So, uh, yeah, good deal. So let's uh, let's place down our last power transmitter, and then I think we'll call it for the day. All right. Is your transmitter is gonna go here? need to kind of carve out an area here. Oops, let's put it up a little higher. Um, and then if we put our laser transmitter here, it does get power, looks like. All right. And then all we really need to do is dig down to 122. So this should be where, yep, so there it is. Just uh, excavate this out a little bit. Was it, uh, Was 122 where we had our cave? Oh, here it is. Durr. <laughs> I dug right into it. Oh boy. I am a derp. Alright. Uh, actually, what is this? Oops. We're at home base, just rock. Alright. So, we have, uh, we have this path right here where we can get over here to where our power transmitter is. So I'm just going to take a little bit of time kind of off camera and get this all excavated out so that uh, um, we can kind of make a little bit of a base down here. So it uh, looks a little bit nicer. If I can actually find my way back home. <laughs> so uh, so like I said, I'm going to cut it off there. We're at about 42 minutes and I don't, uh, I don't like making videos that are too long for all of you. So we'll uh, pick up next time. So thanks for coming out, everybody, and see you next time.